I like kiddies and I like ponies and I like cheeseburgers. <laughs> Welcome to the Epic Christmas Countdown. We are counting down days, and as you can see, I'm uh, still in lazy count mode right now. Um, but we're going to be out of that hopefully, hopefully, by like Tuesday. I got the replacement kit ordered for the lens, but you guys don't really care about that. So on to Christmas the Christmas thing. So it's like shopping time, right? I mean, we have less than a week right now till Christmas, and uh, we're going to get to the days later, but you have to buy gifts, right? The hardest people, for me anyway, to buy gifts for is my parents, because I have no freaking idea what my parents would want, because they have a lot of things. Yeah, there's a lot of things that they want, but I can't afford those things, because they can't afford those things either, and I do not make more money than they do, so I figured, hey... I have access to the internet. I can type in some things and look up some suggestions. So I did. And uh, I found this article. Uh, we're going to go through some of these suggestions here. It's on uh, the Huffington Post's website. And these guys just make me laugh. Oh, they're funny. Um, I think they're trying to be serious, though, which makes me laugh more. Uh, anyways, I need to find a place to set you guys. Because otherwise you're going to go all around. You guys are heavy. I mean, all of you, all like 12 of you who watch my videos, you guys are heavy. Suggestion number one. A surprise paid for all-inclusive weekend away to, at a hotel to a place of their liking for a Christmas bash. Yeah, if I had that much money to pay for my parents, figuring out what to buy my parents would not be a problem. Because there's tons of stuff, like I said, that they need. That uh, they can't afford it. I could, I could afford that for them then. So, good job. Now, number two, I think, brings in Mr. Irony. Gifts that they would appreciate given the economic crisis and, their likely, and the likely state of their portfolio, including, but not limited to, a spa day, a nice dinner out on the town, several bottles of wine, in parentheses, with which to drink away their sorrows. <laughs> Life sucks because they're your parents. They birthed you, so buy them some wine so that they can drink away that sorrow. The next one, digital photo frames with already preloaded pictures of their grandchildren. I think there's another step involved in that. Huffington Post, um... Unless there's something that I'm unaware of, we can't, we're not to that yet. And I don't, I don't think my parents want to hear that they're getting grandchildren for Christmas. Because <laughs> none of me or my siblings are married. Okay. Aromatherapy massages. Hey, Dad, I, I got you a massage. I mean, I'm sure maybe some dads would be like, oh my God, you got me a massage. My dad would more be like, what the hell am I going to do with that? Because it's my dad. It's just... It wasn't me talking. That was, that was him. Just now. And we look very much similar. Except for the mustache. And then, they say... Don't give any gifts. Everybody agree to not give a gift. It's basically like, hey, guys, guys, I give up. I give up. Let's not even play this game. I give up. I, just don't even give me a gift. And I won't give you a gift. And nobody will be disappointed. Or we can all equally be disappointed. However you want to apply that. Donations to charity. That's What do I want for Christmas? For you to give somebody else a gift for me. Oh, that would just make me... I don't think these people quite understand the concept of a gift. What did you get for me for Christmas? Oh, I donated $20 to such and such charity for you. It's in your name. Huh? Huh? You like that, right? Yeah? And then, and then they, 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 they get a little bit better from their Amazon gift certificates. Uh, a Kindle. Yes, I want to give my parents a Kindle 
so that they can have another piece of technology that they will not use and we'll just sit around the house and then and then I'll be like hey why don't you use that I can't work that thing freaking contraption how do you work I don't anyways that brings us to the end of today's countdown video did you hear my wrist crack that was disgusting um, we're now down to six days until Christmas Holy crap, right? So, anyways, that's all we got for today. Tune in tomorrow for more Lazy Count. I'm sorry. We're going to get back Tuesday, Tuesday, promise. Regular episode on Tuesday. Until then, Merry Christmas.